Welcome back guys to another Clash Royale video. It's the weekend today, so we're going to be having some fun playing around with some troll decks. I've got two different troll decks today. One is a Spawner Lightning Expo deck. The other is a Super Fast Cycling Rocket Strategy. We're going to be playing around with them in the new Double Elixir Special Event Challenge. Just because my Expo deck is 4.5 average Elixir cost, there's no way I can afford that in a regular battle. And the whole idea with the rocket deck is to cycle so fast to maybe take out a tower with just the rocket by itself. Pretty trolly decks, like I said, just having some fun because it's the weekend. But let's go ahead here, do our first battle with the expo deck. So here we go, guys. I honestly have no idea if this deck is viable or not. The idea is not really to win. It's not meant to be a serious strategy. We're just trying to troll people here, have some fun with a ridiculous deck. Uh, Spawner Lightning Expo. Let's go ahead and just start getting set up for the spawner action right here. Some barbarians. Then we'll use a mega minion right here. Unfortunately, that miner is going to do work to my furnace. No! Not... Uh, take out the princess. At least we have the arrows here. At least we have the arrows to do that. Barbarians should distract that mega minion long enough for the towers to take it out. And I don't have anything here to defend against this miner. I don't have anything like to drop quickly to distract it. So, I don't know what we're going to do here. I don't know. I probably could have expo the right hand side. But I like to wait till I have like a bajillion buildings set up before I do my expo. Um, let's just wait. I want to wait for the Lava Hound to be out of range and hit the Mega Minion as well as the Infernal Dragon. There we go. Let's drop a Furnace right here. And we're going to go ahead and zap this. Just kill that one Infernal Dragon and also take care of some of those Lava Pups. And does this guy have the the uh, Lightning Spell on his deck? Does he? Um, we're going to arrows these two Princesses right here. Please don't walk out of it. Thank you. Thank you, Prince Eye. And there we go. Getting some buildings set up here. Now. Expo right here, guys. There it is. We'll have the... Mega Mini ready for whatever he drops down to take it out. There we go. And he's going to go ahead and use a Miner. I think that tower might be dead, guys. Unless he zaps the Expo to retarget re it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> that tower is gone. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he zapped it. Let's use a Spear Goblin Hut here to take care of that Mega Minion. And then... We have another Expo available. Let's go ahead and use it right here. We want to have the Mega Minion down to counter the, the Infernal Dragon, sorry. And let's just zap these skeletons there. The Spear Goblin should be able to do a bit of work for me. But that tower is gone, beating the Lava Hound deck so far, guys. Ugh. What do you think of this deck? Is it trolly? I tried to think as trolly as I could with this video. I figured, what's more troll than Spawner Expo Lightning? Let's go ahead and use a Barbarian Hut right here. We'll use a Mega Minion. Oh, unfortunately, can we zap this? We, it doesn't really do much. But it doesn't matter. We're only 8 seconds left. We should be able to defend. Look at all those buildings, guys. So dirty. So dirty. Good game to him. Let's go ahead and do another battle, though. So here we go once again with the Expo deck. Let's see here. Probably one of the worst starting hands that I could have with this deck. Three spells at my expo. Like, what do I do with that? Let's go ahead and just lightning this. That's only a one Electra loss right there. But I'll take the damage for the one Electra. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> we're dead. We're so dead. Oh, that was bad, guys. How could I use that Spear Goblin Hut right there? That tower is gone. Bye-bye, tower. See ya. If we can save that tower, I'll almost be okay with it. He's going to fireball, not hit anything. Let's just try and do a quick expo drop. See if we can't catch him off guard here. He spent a ton of your lecture there. Zap this, boom. And then he's probably going to cycle back to RG. No, he didn't. So let's start building up on the right-hand side here. I think we should be able to take out that tower on the left. We're going to go ahead and use a Spear Goblin Hut. That's the problem with having, like, no damage troops. But that tower is dead. I have nothing to kill this Royal G, though. 
literally nothing. So, but we're setting up pretty nasty push here on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and rock the expo once again. Then we'll make a mini knit. And, uh, fire spirits, go in there, please. Do some work. Yeah, there we go. Two towers down already. The expo is going to come in clutch, turn around, take out the Royal G. And then we're going to go ahead and zap this wizard, take it out. And did that Royal Giant retarget to the Spear Goblin Hut instead of finishing off the Barbarian Hut? I wasn't paying too much attention there. But look on the right hand side, just an endless train of troops. Just endless, guys. Look at this. Let's go ahead and use another Barbarian Hut right here. Look at that parade on the right lane there. And let's go ahead and use a Spear Goblin Hut right here. There we go. Looking pretty good. And let's use an Expo right here. Furnace to protect it. Boom, there we go. And thankfully, the Royal G is not turning around, but we already got the three crown, guys. We already got the three crown. Good game to him. Let's go ahead and switch out to that rocket deck. So here we go, guys, with the rocket strategy. I'm honestly really unsure if this deck is even going to work at all. It's lacking so many, like, cards in there. Like, I don't really have any damage cards. Let's go ahead and use um, Ice Spirit here. Skeletons. And we'll start getting ready for a defense right here. And we're going to fireball all of this jazz right there. Boom. And we'll zap the goblins, of course. And let's go ahead and just mirror zap spells. Boom. And then we'll Ice Spirit here. And what I want to try and do is just get like a... Let's do some Fire Spirits to cycle here. And uh, Skeletons to pull this knight over. Then we'll go ahead and use a Inferno right here. And we will zap these goblins. Fireball this Mortar. Plus the Barbarians. I'm not too sure why he zapped that Inferno. You don't want to zap when it's already targeted onto weak troops. Let's Ice Spirit right here. Boom. We'll Skeletons as well to distract. And then Fire Spirits again. And uh, he's just cycling pretty pretty quick here, guys. He's cycling pretty quick. Let's go ahead and shoot a rocket right there. There we go. Infernal this. Then we're going to go ahead and Ice Spirit up here. Fire Spirits right here. Boom. There we go. And we're going to fireball this mortar just for, just for safe measure. There we go. Skeletons here. We're going to mirror skeletons. Never mind. Not enough elixir. But we're doing okay. I think we can cycle to another rocket here in a second. Actually, let's fire spirit these guys. Uh, we'll use an infernal tower right here. I use spirit these barbs. And fireball this minion horde. Boom. But we missed one minion, which is going to kill us, guys. Let's just fireball this mortar right here. I think that mirror is kind of coming in clutch for us so far. There we go. I'm not really finding a good opportunity to use that rocket, though. No, I'm not. Let's go ahead and fire spirits right here. Ice spirit afterwards. Then we'll infernal tower. He's obviously going to go ahead and use minion horde. So let's fireball right here. No minion horde. And uh, we just want to try and cycle to some more rockets. There's the zap. And it's rocket right here. Fire spirits right here. Ice spirit. And I want to go ahead and use an infernal tower right here. Zap this. Boom. Oh, we're dead, guys. We should not have let that lock onto our tower. Did I outrange that? Oh, it retargeted for some reason. It did. Let's mirror Ice Spirit right here. Boom. And uh, Infernal Tower right here. Skeletons, zap. We'll fire Spirits right here. And uh, mirror Fire Spirits just because of that Goblin Barrel. There we go. And let's just keep the Infernal Tower up just because he has that Mortar. Boom, there we go. But those minions, guys, doing work. Let's go ahead and do this. Fire spirits. Zap the spear goblins. And he's going to come in with a goblin barrel. 
No, let's rocket this though. Ice spirit here. Skeletons right here. Yes? Can we mirror rockets for the win? How dirty would that be, guys? Like, literally how dirty. Let's try it right now. Rocket number one. Come on. Oh, he might. Goblin barrel. We had to zap that. It was a bit too risky there, but we can fireball it for the win. There we go, guys. Good game to him. Oh, that was dirty. <laughs> so dirty. But let's go ahead and do another battle, though. Alright, so that last battle was pretty crazy. I... <laughs> Honestly, I don't think this deck is good, <laughs> but it seemed to work last time. So what do you want to do here? Let's do a quick fire spirit drop on the left. See if we can't force a zap or just get some chip damage done. Seeing that though, let's go ahead and use... This is the troll video, so let's troll with double inferno towers, guys. Oh, look at that lightning though. That was value lightning. Look how much damage this archer is going to do. Wow, bringing it down to 1600. But like I said, this is a troll video, so I might as well uh, troll him. Fire up all these archers. Yes, please. He just zapped my fire spirits, which means he won't have it for the inferno. He might lightning it, though. Can we ice spirit here? And some skeletons. Does that do anything? And some fire spirits. And I honestly don't know if that does anything. I want this Inferno to go down already so I can place a new one. Hurry up, please. Oh, finally. Jeez, let's use another one right here. And let's use Skeletons right here. Distract those Skeletons. And Fireball this. We'll zap it as well. Boom. Uh, come on. This deck is not working, guys. That last battle was a fluke. Why is this deck not working? Uh, Inferno right here. Come on, kill that golem. Yes, please. Thank you. Should be enough. Well, skeletons right here. Mirror skeletons. And uh, ice spirit here. Freeze those golemites. Well, fire spirits here. Kill that mega minion. And then let's just shoot a rocket. Infernal tower right here. And skeletons back here. Pull that baby dragon back. Never mind. I don't know. We can't win this, guys. There's no way we can win this with this much... This little time left. I should have just been rocketing earlier on, I think. He's going to switch to the left-hand lane with that golem. And let's just rocket right here. We'll use another infernal tower right here. Maybe let's just try and cycle super duper fast right here. And uh, see if we can't get like a clutch double rocket just to take the tower down. Let's rocket right here. There we go. And uh, we're going to rocket again. Skeletons right here. Zap this. Oh, what? The zap didn't kill it? Oh, I thought there was a chance we could actually win that. His tower is at two health, guys. Let's go ahead and do another battle with this, um, with this trolley rocket deck. And then maybe we'll do one more with the expo. I don't know. I'm just having a fun, a lot of fun with this trolley rocket deck. Let's see here. Fire spirits as a quick chip damage. And, uh, let's fireball this princess. Notice how she just kind of stopped there and didn't do anything. Ooh, look at that giant skelly. Oh, let's do some skeletons and an ice spirit right here. And we'll mirror ice spirits. Oh! I can't believe I just let that giant skeleton get to the tower. Hit him with a crying face. Um, fire spirits, do your work, please. Let's go ahead and rocket this tower right here. Use an infernal tower right here. Distract that Valkyrie. And we'll use an ice spirit here. Skeletons here. To please kill that... Oh, uh, that's one thing that drives me nuts about the princess. When she's already targeted onto something, she retargets instantly without, like, redoing her animation. It's kind of weird. Well, Ice Spirit this, though. Take out that Hog Rider. And, uh... 
This time we're actually going to pull the giant skeleton over. I'm not going to be a noob twice. There we go. And let's just rocket right. Oh my god, guys. Look at that rocket. Best rocket ever. Oh my god. Crying face. If, if that's not crying face, I don't know what is, guys. I just missed a rocket. A whole six elixir wasted. Oh, that was so bad. How can I be so bad? You guys are probably wondering, like, how is this guy good? Like, he's so bad. Ah, uh, let's just rock right here. I might be a, still be able to win this with a rocket, though. Boom. We'll throw down some fire spirits right here. And some uh, fireball action right here. Ice spirit right here. Infernal tower right here. Skeletons right here. And uh, just, I don't know what I want to do here, guys. I don't know what I want to do here. Come on, infernal tower, please. Skeletons, take out the princess, please. There we go. Kill that princess. Skeletons, what are you good for? Can't count on you for nothing. I cannot rely on you guys. Let's go ahead. Fire spirits, ice spirit, ice spirit, infernal tower. And I think we're okay to do another rocket. We'll do rocket right here. And we'll fire spirits in the back to take out the princess. There we go. Ice spirit right here. Is this actually going to work, guys? Why did that hog rider not get pulled over? He didn't pig push at all. The infernal tower is in the perfect position. But let's go ahead and rocket right here. And zap it. There we go. Another victory. One more victory. Let's go ahead and do another one, guys. I'm just having a ton of fun with this... Stupid rocket deck. We're at six wins so far. Can you believe that? What do you guys think this is troll or no? On a scale of one to ten, how trolly is it? Hit him with the thumbs up. Let's use a fire spirits right here. Cycle and maybe do some damage. Boom, boom. Take out those archers at least. Two for one trade. Buy one, get one free. Oh, the sparky. But what's a good counter to a sparky, guys? Can you guess? I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with pocket. Uh, we'll use Ice Spirit right here. Then we'll rocket these guys. And we're gonna Skeletons right here. There we go. Skeletons should take out that Royal G with a little bit of damage done to my tower. I'm able to accept it though. And there's another positive Elixir trade. Use an Ice Spirit right here. Rocket this Sparky. Yes, we will. And there we go, guys. Look at that. It's Fireball right here. Take out this princess. The Fireball isn't perfect, but I want to. I need to get into a better cycle, pretty much, what I'm trying to say here. Um, we'll just Inferno Tower this guy. We'll Ice Spirit as well. And the Fireball is going to do enough for him. And now we have a decent cycle here, guys. We have the Rocket timed out with the Sparky. The Fire Spirits will take out those Archers. We'll Mirror Fire Spirits right here. And I want him to use a Sparky. We're, let's just rocket this princess. Come on, hit the princess, please. Oh, you missed the princess? Are you kidding? Thankfully, though, we can take out this uh, princess. We'll zap this or infernal that. Ice Spirit here. That'll take out the Royal G. And we can go ahead and zap this. Fire Spirits here. And Skeletons here. There we go. And that uh, Sparky is dead, guys. Let's fireball this princess. I know fireballing that princess isn't really ideal, but I think he dropped something into it. Let's go ahead and ice spirit right here. And we'll mirror ice spirits. Just get chip damage done. I'm, I'm waiting for him to use that sparky. One more sparky right here. And uh, fire spirits. We'll have the inferno tower right here. Skeletons right here. And some ice spirit action. Let's mirror those ice spirits. And there we go. Look at that. Look. I can't believe how dirty this deck is, guys. And there we go. Uh, where is that Sparky? Come on, come on, Sparky. Where are you? Please play behind the tower one more time. Ah, uh, he's getting smart this time, though. Let's just rocket it. Ice Spirit right here. Get some chip damage done. Uh, no, no, no chip damage, but we will go ahead and do this. Right here. And then we'll fire Spirits in the back. Spawn Skeletons on top of the Royal G to force him to retarget. 
There we go. And can we, let's, we can't fireball all that, so let's go ahead and fireball right here. Then I think we can go ahead and zap this. And then Ice Beard it to, to kind of kill it. And let's try and mirror rockets here, guys. Can we mirror rockets in time? What do you think? Will it work? T minus one second. Give him the thumbs up. And boom! There we go! Good game to him, guys. Wow, that is so dirty. I apologize for using this deck in a video. I won't use it ever again. Just having some fun, like I said before. Anyways, though, that will be the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe for more Clash Royale content if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next video.